Good morning. Welcome to Good Vibes. I'm Lisa Hout, the Hippie Chick, here with Dane Henning, the psychedelic dude. Back. Back again. He's wearing my hippie beads today. Got my beads. That's as hippie as Dane gets. That's it. I, I'll wear beads, but that's, I mean, I'll do this peace sign. So. Yeah, once in a while I get him to do that with me. I do that, but other than that, no, that's about as hippie as I'm, no, that's about as hippie mm-hmm. as I get. Maybe I can teach you some of my ways. Maybe. We'll see. I can ease you in with we'll some see. music. With music? Well, Could like, I ease you in with some music? Well, I mean, like, I like Led Zeppelin. Like, are you talking about Beatles and Led Zeppelin and that kind of thing? Because I already like them. Okay, well, kind of, like but we can go a little more psychedelic than that. A little like, more. Yeah, a little more. Yeah, we'll get there. Okay. Like Grateful Dead. And the, uh, you know? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I like Grateful Dead, okay. They're okay. Yeah, there's, there's okay. lots of good, fine. groovy songs. They're fine. Yeah. Yeah. Groovy songs. <laughs> groovy yeah. songs. There we go. I love my music. So, <laughs> which brings me to my topic of the day, which is creativity. Yes. But before we get to that, I want to check with you real quick. Yeah. And see how you're doing on your um, water intake and exercise challenge. Better and better. Well, the, okay, so the exercise hasn't really increased all that much because I was doing okay with that already. Good. But the water has been doing much, much better. I'm finally deciding to cut back on the mountain. Yay. We, uh, it's just too much. I drink I drink too much of it. It's just, yeah. that's just the way. That's it's just so unhealthy. I, I know it's it. yummy, but it's so unhealthy. Yeah. So yeah. you can replace that with water. Even one a day is an improvement. Yeah. Well, things are starting to get a He's bit jiggly. He's starting to slim up. Oh, no, things are starting Things Ooh. are starting to get a little bit jiggly right here. So it's like, I uh, know we got to, you know, when you turn 30, we, we got to, you know, we got to, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do something because I ain't doing this. This is it. No, not me. Not day. Not, that's not happening. So wait till you hit fifty-ish and see oh boy. what happens. Yeah, I, this is part of why we're I'm doing still try- this. I'm still challenge. trying to get over the thirty thing. So. <laughs> 50, 30, 30 bothered me worse than fifty did. Thirty hit me hard. Mm-hmm. Thirty hit me hard. I'm well, getting... you need to start preparing now for fifty then. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Because it, there's a, but you know, by the time you're fifty, honestly, you don't really care that much. Yeah. What anybody thinks or. Yeah. So, you know, just be you. Do I, don't, you. I, guess, I guess I don't really, I mean, I guess, mm-hmm. I mean, it's been a year, almost two years now since I turned 30, but, oh. so I guess, I'm, I guess I'm, I guess I don't really care, but it's still, 30, <laughs> 30 was terrible. I hated turning 30. It was awful. It was awful. It was harder for me having all my babies leave the nest mm. than it was to turn 50. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but that's tough. But one of the things that I've done to help with that is, is delve back into some of those creative things that I loved to do that kind of got pushed to the side, oh, yeah. you yeah. know, when you're raising kids sure. and I know the feeling. running a household I know and the feeling, yeah. working. And yeah. so, <clears throat> excuse me. So, um, I love this saying, I don't know who said it, but it was creativity is intelligence having fun. Oh, God, I'm nice with that. I thought that was really cool. And, um, some of the things I do to be creative are not what you would think are typical things. I think lots of people think of art and um, music and, sure. and those venues, theater. Sure. And I love all those things. Don't get me wrong. But even just everyday activities can be creative. Mm. When you make any decision, especially if it's a decision about something that works in multiple ways. So mm-hmm. like if I go to the left, I can get to where I want to go. But if I go to the right, I can pick up that bag and take it with me. That's a creative choice. It creates new pathways in your brain, which is the whole point of what creativity is or you in create, human beings. Or you create path C. <laughs> or you're very creative and come up with yeah. a C. I, yeah. I'll go with yeah. that. You can do that too. Yeah. yeah. But creativity is all about creating those pathways in your brain. And yoga is another way, which I found is an amazing way to do that. Okay. And, uh, Yogi Bethany Knight taught me that, mm-hmm. our friend. Mm-hmm. Who's in India right now? We are so jealous. Yeah, well, she is in India. Right <laughs> yes, now. Yeah. but she taught me that when you do a new move, even if it's just something you don't do in your daily life, like if you hold your hand this way as opposed to this way, that creates new pathways in your brain. Something that little. That's interesting. Yeah. So interesting. even if you sit in a chair to do yoga, although it might not be giving you the flexibility in your lower body and stuff you might get from that workout, mm-hmm. you're still creating those pathways. And yoga is as much a mental exercise as it is a physical That's exercise. That's interesting. So I'm sure maybe we can have Bethany on sometime to talk because she's so interesting. Yeah, be, yeah, she is very interesting. Yeah, she's very she, interesting. she could tell us about yeah. India. That she's would be very, so cool. Very interesting. Yes. Um, so what are the things you like to do that you consider creative? Well, uh, I guess it's more along the traditional aspect of 
creativity though um from a logical sense uh i tend to so logical, have yes. i tend to have more of a logical way of thinking as opposed to a creative way of thinking um so i the two things two creative things that most people would consider to be creative mm -hmm. that i've done ever since i was a child is play music and um and draw mm -hmm. I, I love sketching i love car i love drawing cartoons and animating and stuff like that um though sketching i also like to do i've recently been getting into digital art doing a lot of lexi art loves to do stuff that. like that so that's yeah. something that i've been getting into um and um uh the and then music i've taught i taught myself how to play the guitar when i was 12 years old and i just didn't stop i kept mm -hmm. playing the, i played the guitar i taught myself to play then went on to the bass the drums the piano some saxophone even a bit of the violin um so i kind of delved in pretty deep into music and uh what's you mentioned something earlier that was really interesting about how you're able to go back now that your kids have left the nest you're able to go back to those creative things one thing so i mean to be fair i don't have, my, my daughter's three so there's not a <laughs> whole lot of thinking on her own but um she she's always interested in what daddy's doing too so i she has a she for her second or third birthday i bought her a drum set um she loves to draw we love to play music together, even if it's just her hitting the drums or mm -hmm. strumming the guitar or something like that. So we get to kind of be part of that. She she likes to play on the the xylophone and stuff like Fun. that. And she'll just, I mean, it's not music. It's just, but it is music, but, just because I mean, it doesn't it, sound it, like it, traditional it, music. It is doesn't music, mean it's not but music. I mean, it's, she's, she's really just... Making but, noise. But the thing is that... Um, the reason why I was able to pick up the guitar so well is because guitar is very technical. It's very technical. There's musical theory behind it. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so this is a G because this is a G. It's not, I'm creating the G. Mm -hmm. Or I'm creating a C chord or something like that. <laughs> it's, this is a C chord, and this is how you play the guitar. So it's still very, very technical. So there's a lot of... So it really helped me... It really helped me be creative at a young age while... Still fitting in with your still personality. Still fitting in with my, yeah. my logical side of my brain and, and that kind of thing. So Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm very much the opposite. I am a very creative person. Mm -hmm. I am logical, but not mm -hmm. to that extent. And um, the only, I don't consider it art, although many people have told me they do. I create needlework. And in fact, many moons ago, I owned a needle workshop and I taught people how to do kind of cross stitch and needlepoint mm -hmm. and things like that. And I have beautiful pieces that True. people think that, I mean, they're museum quality that people think are paintings True. that I've done in needlework and True. they are and I, I really got away from that as i was raising lexi because it mm -hmm. takes concentration and time and and so i'm trying to delve back into that a little bit i have a friend that just had a baby so it gave me an excuse to do something for her oh and, cool very yeah cool. so very i'm cool. working on that very cool. and then i've always been very active in the theater mm -hmm. and here i am on tv you know so i've done commercials and theater and and lots of music and performances with that so that's always been important to me the theater was something that i was never really all that but we're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah. And but things you can do in your everyday life that are creative that you might not think about. How about cooking? Oh, yeah. Well, there's it's called culinary arts for a reason. Absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, I'm not I'm not a baker. I can bake. I just If you don't were in culinary like arts and the, the air mm -hmm. quote offended you, I'm sorry. I just <laughs> it was a habit. Sorry. Sorry. So, but um, the baking is very technical. So mm -hmm. you would probably really like that side of it where probably, yeah. I don't enjoy that as much cuz I don't want to measure. I want mm -hmm. to be that person that goes to the market and says, "Oh, the squash look beautiful today. Let me take those home and see what I can create with them. Right. Or go to my garden, which is another thing. Gardening is creativity. Knowing where to put your plants, how to take care of your plants, nurturing them. That still takes creativity. Okay, absolutely. And so I love to be able to plant that garden the way I want it, knowing how things are going to interact with each other and support each other, and then going and picking those things fresh and eating them and making things with them. Right. So yeah. I consider that creativity. I think it's how you spin it, how you look at it, your intention. So I think even making a cup of tea, if you have the intention of I'm being creative and I'm mm -hmm. going to create something good out of today, that can be creativity. Well, so. and I think, I think also another piece of advice is that you can still hit those creative triggers and if you have a brain like mine that 
like <laughs> logic if you like logic behind things where it's one plus one equals two. It doesn't equal three or four or yellow. It equals two. And if you are that type of person and you can't get away from no one plus one equals two and you can't think and broaden your mind for like me, which is something it's it's something that, that I do as well, there are ways, like I said, to if there's something that you have an interest in and you want to partake in it, you can teach yourself how to do things through various methods using technicality and be able to at least participate and feel like you're doing something creative at the same time. And like you said, I think it's so important to pass that on to your children too. And I think you ought to get Gary the picture of um, you and Izzy where she's teeny and you've got the guitar. Oh yes, that one. So he can share it with us because it's a beautiful picture. That's one of my favorite pictures. Yeah. Yeah, She was, uh, that said, you know, pictures can say a thousand words. That one does. She was, um, I don't know, maybe, Nine months old. Ten yeah, months old, he was tiny, like playing she guitar too. with daddy. Yeah, playing guitar. I know my dad was a was a rock band dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> and uh, he, when Lexi was little, he used to go out in the garage with the microphone and he'd play his electric guitar, and Lexi would make up songs, mm-hmm. and they'd play for the neighborhood, and yeah. the neighbors would all come out, and put their chairs out, and listen nice. to them. Yeah, I mean, it, music has been in my family since. I mean, it, it's just my my uncle was in a band i was in a band my cousins were in bands <laughs> um we did the band thing the rock star type of local rock star type of thing yeah. i guess is, is what we did um but um yeah i mean it's always it's always been there and uh, so like with with izzy for example um there was one time there's actually a video on facebook of this i was playing on acoustic guitar, I was playing Californication by the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and Izzy took a box, she was really young still, and she took a shoe box and set it in front of her and just started beating on it to play, and I'm like, she's a, she's she's a the, musical genius. She's getting the drums. Yeah. She's getting the drums. It's just, <laughs> I told my wife, she's getting the drums. So, I don't know what to tell you, she's getting drums. So, every now and then, you'll just hear this, I mean, it's a full trap set. It's a full, tr- for little kids, for little, little kids, it's a full trap set, and it, it's loud, and she'll go in and just, that's awesome. I love it. I can hook you up with my friend Dustin Rhodes. Sounds he's, good. He, um, His he, name is Dustin Rhodes? Rhodes. Like he, Dusty Rhodes, like the wrestler. Yeah, kind of. Well, he's not a wrestler. Okay. Dustin's a musician. Okay. He owns a music school in Tulsa with Ooh. his partner. That's where Lexi did her music mm-hmm. lessons. Mm-hmm. And he actually has his own line of drums. Wow. He's good. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So we'll hook you up. That's great. I'll tell you. Let's do it. <laughs> so yeah. so we want to know what you do to show your creativity. Mm-hmm. So please comment below. Show us. Go to the Facebook page if you want to post a picture of something you've done. We would love to see them, and I would be glad to show them on the show. Well, especially mm-hmm. also if it's something creative that you've done with your residents or oh, for that would your be residents, amazing. something like that. Because I know that, especially during like activities, I know that I know you might not necessarily be in the activities department, but I know that a lot of CNAs do participate and help and assist. Um, so. Let's see some of the stuff that you guys oh, do. Oh, we would it. love that. And we will highlight your home and what you're doing with the residents. Absolutely. And, Sounds yeah, good to we'd me. love that. All right. So until later in the week. Peace. Peace out. out. <laughs>